Buffalo UV. Hi, how you doing? Today we're watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer, season two, episode four. Yeah. So I apologize in advance if there is an echo. I haven't been able to test it out, so if there is an echo, I oh, I'm so sorry. I'm currently in the process of completely redoing my room. Um, yeah. <laughs> As you can see, I've already had my walls painted. I've also had my bed frame painted, and I've also had the wood floors put in. Oh my gosh, it's a lot. So yeah, nothing is really done yet, but I still need to make this video for you guys. So I apologize about the really blank background. I'll be going back to my apartment that I was living in pre-COVID, and that has all my decorations and stuff. So once I go up there, I will have a nice background, I swear. But yeah, that was just a little life update in case you guys are interested. Let's get on with Buffy. So this one is called Inga Mummy girl i have no inkling of what the hell that could mean crazy on to stop by what are your predictions for this episode wow okay yeah that's super interesting so yeah like i already said at the end of the last video that i made i'm kind of expecting spike to come back in a couple episodes not immediately so yeah i'm like half expecting him not to be in it but i'm also kind of Okay, you need to go. <laughs> but like I'm also... Also... But I'm also kind of expecting a scene or two of Spike. So yeah, I am curious to see how much he's in the story now or if he's like... If he's gonna be more slut plot material or if he's gonna be overall season plot material. You get my drift? So yeah, I honestly... No predictions at all. Uh, with that, let's just get into it. It's all cultural exchange, Megilla. The exhibit, the dance. I have the best costume for the dance. A complete stranger in my house for two weeks. I'm oh. gonna be insane. A date no. for myself and others. Exchange student program She's school. She's an exchange student living there. I do. Dinosaurs. Yes. 100% Swedish, 100% gorgeous, 100% staying at my house. So how's yours? I mean, I got a Swedish last name. Does that count for anything for you, Leah? So this person who's living with you for two weeks is a man with man parts. Xander. This is a terrible idea. Wow, someone took biology. He better keep his parts to himself. Goodness gracious. What's he doing? Uh, what he lacks in smarts, he makes up in lack of smarts. You just don't like him because of... I think I got almost all 14 natural elements memorized. There are 103. I mean, that's more than I have memorized, so... Now proceed into the Incan burial chamber. Human sacrifice Title? Human sacrifice is about to begin. Wait, wait, wait. Typical museum trick. Promise human sacrifice to live a old... Sacrifice? Discolored, shriveled mummy. The Incan people sacrificed... <sighs> How odd the in the morning. <laughs> this is ominous. What's going to happen? Is she gonna come back to light? Gonna possess the exchange student, perhaps? What is it panning up to? Oh god, is it the idiot? What is he planning to do? Are you dumb? Have you never seen a movie in your life? Oh my damn. You dumbass. <gasps> oh, oh, ew, ew. Oh my god. That was disgusting, and I never want to see that thing ever again in my life. So, can I go? I think not. <laughs> Just like, let me reevaluate. So, can I go? I think not. Well, yeah, I'm gonna take Willow, but I'm not gonna take Willow in the sense of take me. See, with you, we're three and everybody's safe. Romance flowers. Aww. Lips. Oh, wow, come on. In all the years you've known Willa, you've The known beginning of the first episode, come Buffy, on. Buffy, I love Willa. She's my <gasps> oh, best friend. Oh, yeah, I know. Oh, no. Oh, which no. Which makes her not the kind of girl who I think about her lips that much. <gasps> oh, my God. She's the kind of girl oh, that God. I'm best friends with. <gasps> hey, guys. The hell happened at the beginning of the first episode? Happy. Not happy. Xander, you say it's but, something but yes. acting different. What is happening? Oh. Hey, maybe he awakened the mummy. <laughs> right. Uh -huh, and, too. and attacked him. Why are we still here? Buffy's <laughs> like, oh, that is something that could actually happen in our world. Okay. 
Giles? Um, Were the Incas very advanced? Yes, yes, very. Do they have orthodontists? <gasps> With a big old mess. So where's the dead bitch? Do you wear your priorities? Tracking down a mummifying killer or making time for some Latin lover whose stock and trade is the breakage of hearts? Oh, I'm hot as there alone. <laughs> Wait, is that him? Why would you follow a woman whispering in the middle of the night? Honestly. What the fuck was that? Wait. <gasps> Wait a minute. So, oh, does she like take life and like that's how she does her thing? I am on Becca. Uh, I, I've toured. Where did you go? I was taken to... So... She's acting so normal. Or is that not her? Am I, like, Very dumb? Good. Well, you'll feel right. No, that is. There. I don't know. Just like you. A normal life. A normal life. <laughs> no. But that's certainly what I have. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, Cordelia, pop off, honey. Yes! What do you want to make? Why does he look like a producer? I... They don't even speak American. So I'll see you later. Cordelia. It involves a feather ball oh and a theme of a summer place. I can't discuss it. You two Wait, is that the dude from Scooby-Doo? You're just impressed by any pretty girl that can walk and talk. She doesn't have to talk. The standards could never be lower. It, it's, uh... From the tomb of an Incan mummy, actually. We She's like, try oh, to translate it. Uh, <laughs> I believe the word is bodyguard. Bodyguard. Interesting. Oh, we. That was a dude that like had a tussle. Okay, so that's, um, that's a very good okay. start. Willow. Boy, they really like each other. Poor Willow. No. <laughs> made so much progress in the first episode and we back to square one it's a delicious spongy golden cake that's as american as you can get so creamy white substance of goodness you'd think a shower pot is only staying two weeks yeah and then xander can find someone else who's not made to obsess about it. <laughs> well you know i have a choice I can spend my life waiting for xander to go out with every other girl in the world yes until he notices me or I can just get on with my life. Yes, Willow. Well, I didn't choose yet. Willow, please. <laughs> yep, there's the bodyguard. I just don't know what we, we should do with it. Destroy it. If you do not, someone can die. I'm afraid mm -hmm. someone will. Is she? You are not telling me everything. I, I don't know. We're not an archaeology club. No. <clears throat> We're in a cult. Look at us. We came up with a plan. A good plan. Right. We'll meet there tonight after it closes. I have other plans. Dance plans. The child's is like, for God's sake. That's <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> That's great. You're not a praying mantis, are you? <laughs> I'm sorry. Hello? Do not kill me. You were already dead for 500 years. Wait, but it was not wasn't he in Twilight? When worlds collide. The people you kill now, so that you may live, they are innocent. Wait, is he a bodyguard for the people? I am in love. I'm... You are... This is interesting. <gasps> Oh, this is messed up. Come on. I fucked. Did she yes. come out with more makeup? That's oh. what sucking the soul out of someone does. I mean, if you if it gets your makeup done faster, I might just hop on that train. No, that clashes. There should be a gold one in there somewhere. Thank you. Oh my gosh, she gonna open it. From the netherworld. Out of all the girls in her generation. She was the only yep, one. Yep, she's so oh, no. chosen. Hello, hello. I'm now where I'm 
I'm supposed to be. Unpack the rest of your stuff for you. No, really. Let oh. Me. Oh my god. That's Dandar Willow. I'll get it. <gasps> no. Hello, hello. I tried, but she is very stubborn. Well, I'm glad someone else sees that. Well, oh good night then. She is the perfect mom character. Oh my god. You look good. <laughs> Two days in America and Ampata already seems like she belongs here. How about that? Oh. Listen, I don't need to cry right now. This dude is in Scooby Doo. The same live action with a Sarah Michelle Gellar was in. Just saying. Yeah, it's just a Cordelia, yes, honey. I almost wore the same thing. Too sad. She was wiggy about the seal for minute one. Yes, I suppose she was. Her trunks. I beg your pardon. <laughs> just do it. Hey. <gasps> that girl. I think she's from South America. No, not her. <gasps> the Eskimo. Willow! Yes! Okay, but if he's anything like he is in Scooby Doo, come on, please, <laughs> please don't. Holy sh! Just do it! Oh my god! <laughs> oh wait! If they kiss, does he, she take all of his life force? Oh no! Oh no! He's like, I'm decaying. I need to go to the bathroom. What? I should have was I supposed to do that much? Oh, that's why they focus on him. Oh no. Wait, so can she control it or can she still kiss without doing the slurping of the <laughs> white juice? This is way too intimate. I don't need this. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> Goodness. Okay, get it, but... <laughs> oh. Ew. We need to find him. Ampad is the mummy. Oh. Good. Xander, where'd they go? Yes. Back hey, I... <gasps> Who is that girl? Oh, thank you. Honey, get some moisturizer. Do it. <laughs> God damn it! Oh, Willow, please! Oh, ew! Are they just gonna leave her there? Oh, the poor employee that has to come in and see that the next morning. You gave up your life. I had you to bring me back. Episode. I know that's very dumb of me to say after I criticized the last episode and I know most people probably like that one more than this one but I honestly think it might be because my mood is a lot better today so I was a lot more into it you know I was vibing real well with it um I hate how I'm such a stereotypical <laughs> millennial I <laughs> the way I speak I need to stop <laughs> So the main question that I had before this episode was, are we going to see Spike? And we did not. So that tells me that we might have more of a subplot thingy going with him. That like he'll peek in in a couple episodes and then we'll have a full episode dedicated to him. You know, I don't know. So yeah, this one was definitely a monster of the week, but I really enjoyed it. I. I don't know, I think it was because it was all the relationship stuff that I got, you know, I love <laughs> all the drama <laughs> between all of them, so I really liked seeing that. 
don't know, it was just very cool to see how, like a little update on what's happening with Willow and Xander. Cause what the fuck was with the first episode? They literally were going on like a little romantic stroll through the cemetery and they were just eating ice cream, doing a little game, and then they almost smooched and then a vampire came So because of that freaking vampire, we will never know if it, 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 it but a new challenger has entered the ring. We got that dude, I think his name's Oz, I'm not really sure. But he's coming in and he's like, ooh, Willow, hey, haha, <laughs> so cute. <laughs> and oh my god, I cannot believe it's the same dude from uh, Scooby Doo 2, which is the same movie that Sarah Michelle Geller was in and she played Daphne. I, that, such a small world. I love it. <laughs> but yeah, in the movie, he kind of does the same thing. He goes after like the little nerd character, Velma, and Velma does her thing. They go on a couple dates. Spoiler alert for that movie if you want to see it, but he is actually the villain and is behind a lot of the stuff. He's not the villain, but he's like villain-esque. You know, so I hope that's not the case this time. <laughs> Man, I'm so excited to see if, if that goes anywhere. It's what she deserves, okay? And I really, really like the parallels between. Oh my god, I they said her name like 50 times and I already forgot it. What was the mommy's name? It was like a Martha, a Martha. Oh my god, like how the mommy is trying to do her thing, lead a normal life, and all that. And then Buffy is trying to do the same thing, but obviously she has more responsibilities because she can't. And oh my god, it's so good. Like that little shot where she's just watching Xander and her like leave, and then she's like, wish that could be me. <laughs> yeah, I, just this episode, it was very, it's just interesting. And I really liked how the bodyguard, we were expecting him to like, you know, go after Buffy and the gang because we assumed that the bodyguard is to uh, keep the mummy safe, but actually it's to keep her dead and like keep everyone else from like messing with her and to keep her in there, which was very clever and I really like that. But yeah, Xana's episode, um, it was definitely his, he was like the main center point. What was the praying mantis episode? Was that episode four last season? Okay, but yeah, yeah. Last season, episode four, same episode as this one, he had the praying mantis thing going on. And then in this one, he kind of gets to redeem himself in a way, like he kind of shows growth in it. I, it's just, I like how they did that. Of course, he's kind of just, you know, a teenage boy, so can't expect too much from him. But it's growth nonetheless, I guess. I don't think there's anything else. Oh, Willow. She in the library was like, yeah, I guess I can stay and, you know, keep just being sidelined by all of these people that Xander want that Xander wants to date instead of me. Or I can move on. And then Buffy's like, hey, yeah, that's good. And she's like, I haven't decided yet. Like, that same situation happened to me. Like, five different times over my life. Willow, please, for your sake and mine. But I swear to God, if she moves on and starts, you know, seeing Oz, I'm pretty sure that's the same, and starts seeing him going on a couple dates, and then Xander waltzes his ass back in and is like, what the f I will lose it. Like, I literally, I cannot believe he had the nerve to say like oh yeah she's my best friend i i could never like think about like anything romantic with her bitch but again you can't really push feelings so i get it but also i'm still thinking about the first episode and it was what would have happened if they actually went through with that kiss and i need to know and also buffy this episode is low-key throwing the wrong signals everywhere like last season I kind of bashed on Xander because I was like, why isn't he getting these signals? Like, dude, it's so obvious Buffy is not into you. And then Buffy pulls this shit 
And she's like, wow, Xander, you look so nice. Bye. She's like, and then you saved me. Ha <laughs> ha. Like, Bobby, kick aside. <laughs> like, I do understand she's trying to be a friend, but also, why would you say that? <laughs> you know how he feels about you. Let's not give him the wrong idea. So yeah, that's all I really gotta say. Um, thank you again to all my beautiful patrons over on Patreon, you the realist. And with that, that's all I gotta say about Buffy the Vampire Slayer season two, episode four. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Cause every time we